Hello everyone, welcome to Grad Connect series. My name is Yashashvi Mehta and today with, uh, today with us we have Mr. Shruti. Uh, in this series, we are aiming to uh, interview different students who have fulfilled their study abroad journey. Uh, with their, let's, you know, let us talk about their preparation tips, their strategies, which colleges they went to, their application process, their visa process, and there are lots of things which we, we would, as a student, would like to know about it. So thank you so much, Mrs. Shruti, for joining us today. And um, she has pursued master's degree in computer science from Trinity College Dublin. And I welcome you here. You can, you may, you know, yourself and let us know more about you. Thanks, Shasri. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so um, as, as you mentioned, I have done my master's uh, in computer science uh, from Trinity College Dublin. Uh, it's one of the uh, top best college in Ireland and uh, 100 plus colleges or top top colleges um, throughout the world. So, yeah, so. Okay, thank you so much for, you know, introducing and letting us know about this. Now, before moving forward to your current life, let us, you know, understand your motivation on and your thinking behind like, when did you wanted to apply for it and which degree you, you know, had in your uh, like Indian college and how this process went forward. So you can let us know about that history part of thing. So um, from the beginning, I didn't, I never got a chance to uh, study in a reputed college back in India. So I was always been a low middle class family and I had to study in government colleges and other stuff. So after completing my BS in computer science, I struggled to get into IT as a software developer uh, due to lack of experience and the degree, you know. Uh, so uh, then I decided to do some external courses, as you know, from um, NIIT and other stuff. So I did some courses as well SAP and everything but still uh, it wasn't successful I was still struggling so then um, I always aimed to study abroad uh, and I always wanted to study somewhere outside India to gain my knowledge to gain more experience and everything so luckily after uh, my uh, wedding my husband uh, is very supportive and he pushed me to do masters with Trinity College uh, it's one of the best in uh, Ireland. So I aim to get into Trinity. But the year when I came to Ireland, I was already late for the application for that particular year. And then I had to wait for one more year. So I prepared, I did my IELTS and I uh, I did my groundwork on how the university is, what all the modules, what I'm interested to do in. Even though uh, MS in computer science uh, has in Trinity, they have four different streams in the same course as well. So you can pick different modules like data science, future network systems and everything. And then the first year when I applied for uh, uh, Trinity College MSc, I got rejected uh, because of, I hope that's because of SOP, but there isn't, I don't know the exact reason. Then I had to, um, you know, uh, do a lot of research and how to write an SOP, why is it important? And, um, and the following year I got into the Trinity. Uh, it was an amazing experience, uh, but unfortunately, uh, when I got my application accepted, it was uh, mid of COVID, so we have to complete. Uh, we had to do our course all virtual, so we never got a chance to experience the university experience in Ireland. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, like uh, thank you for letting us know that. Uh, as you mentioned that you know you had to try once again for the same college. So, like, was uh, was it uh, clear that you wanted to just go in that college, or or you were you know applying for some different uh, more colleges? Like, were you aiming only this one and more? And um, yeah, first, like, let me know about this. Uh, so I always aimed for Trinity. That is the uh, thing because uh, there is very good colleges in uh, Ireland as well, but. Uh, Trinity is one of the oldest college and then people do respect this college a lot that has a brand name you know it's like um, MIT in IT in India so, so you only IIT applied in India. for this college yes. uh, yeah, what exams yeah, so, you focused for this college so since I came in here as a spouse of IT citizen uh, I didn't need to give any entrance exam or anything as such I had to give a coding test for the college plus IELTS just to prove my English knowledge and that's it 
So it was all dependent on the SOP. The way they select is only on SOP. So that's where students use, you know, had to focus more on. Okay. Uh, so you had to give your coding test, your IELTS, and uh, yeah. were there any interview rounds? No, not really. So it was just the the coding test and IELTS and your SOP and that's done. You will listen, uh, you will hear back from them after you apply, like maybe after three or four months later, like once you apply. So I applied in September and then heard back from them in March or uh, April. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, like, let us know more about it. Like, uh, as you said, you were facing difficulty here to get into IT sector. So when you were already in Trinity College and when you know you started studying there or be it an online or an offline mode but how things went forward you know like how things changed you can let us know about that so uh, I completed my degree back in 2015 from then I am current I, am, I wasn't updated uh, uh, with the current technologies developments and other stuff so machine learning AI was everything was uh, you know uh, a big thing for me because I didn't have any idea about it but I was always intrigued by those things so I wanted to learn so I took those modules in my um, the degree so in the Trinity College so in my first time it was very difficult for me to get back to that you know uh, sit and study and research and other stuff so the most of courses here in Dublin are research based they pay more um, you know push towards the research papers what is going on currently and the new technologies and other stuff so that was a bit hard for me to fill that gap between where I was left and then where I had to pick it up so uh, in the first sem it was a bit hard for me I had to do a lot of work. There were many sleepless nights and then uh, so many days when I thought of giving it up because I thought I might not be able to do it. So, but then uh, as I go, as I as I started researching and then putting more time and effort into it, I started enjoying it. The modules, the lectures were so good, so good. Like they, they push you towards more practical side of the course, not just the theoretical. You don't have to, you know, mug up any theories, any any definitions or anything as such. You just need to know how it works. You should know to implement those things, you know. So when I started building different modules in machine learning, I started understanding what is classification modules, what does it do, how does it perform, and what are the main things we should, you know, um, uh, know about those uh, uh, core concepts of machine learning and everything. I started enjoying it. I really, really, glad that I did my course and I took those modules it was challenging but well rewarding yeah okay that is amazing uh so you know you gave us an insight about whole course structure too like how it was much more research based and all um a little more insight I would like to know is, you know, did you uh, engage yourself into on-campus inter internships too and, you know, managing study and, you know, trying for internships or for any job or did you start applied after that and something like that on that note? Uh, so in first sem, uh, I didn't apply for any jobs because I was, as I said, I was more stressed because I just wanted to complete this first. I didn't want to give it you know, give up on that. So, because I, I dream for this all my life. So, um, I was more um, worried about the course in the first sem. In the second sem, it was quite difficult because as you go, the course get very intense and you have to put more effort. But wherein in third sem, um, so the Trinity doesn't offer any uh, in-course internship. Like, you don't have to do internship. Okay, so you have to do uh, the dissertation project uh, in the third sem, which is all on your own. You can pick different topics. They have they have many topics to pick on. You can pick on your interest and you, you can pick your professor you want to work under. And then um, there you, that, that's the time when I started looking for a job and apply, apply for a job. So there were many um, graduate positions uh, at that point of time which was open and Trinity also has their uh, job portal which they post different um, jobs in the market uh, well in Ireland and UK so you can apply through them as well so I started applying for that and then at the end of my sem I started getting interviews so um, it was 
around like August, September, I started getting interviews. And in November, uh, I got a job. In October end, I got a job and in November, I joined my job. So it wasn't, it is not difficult to find a job here if you have the skill set, if you have, if you have the degree and the interest, they just see that how, how much you are willing to give into the job, how much you are willing to, you know, take up the challenge and work, you know. So that's what the, uh, that's what matters here. Even in the college, they don't see uh, have you scored 95 plus all your throughout your uh, you know um, life or in in your education or how much you are willing to you know uh, put an effort are you really interested to learn more about you know it or the course whatever you are taking up so that's what matters that's amazing uh, also my like another question will be about visa and finances uh, though mm-hmm. i assume that you may not have gone through a student visa right but uh, yeah. did you apply for any loans for your study because college uh, like university fees is a lot so were it any loan process or you manage your own personal finances so i manage my own personal uh, finances because my husband sponsored it and i thought of applying for uh, scholarships uh, colleges to provide scholarship up to you know uh, 40 or 50 percent but uh, the problem was that uh, my husband said since we can afford uh, paying fees let other students who are really in need can take the you know scholarship so hence I didn't go to that line at all I didn't apply for loan or anything as such when it comes to visa uh, I was already in Ireland when I got into the college uh, so it was already two years since I was staying in Ireland so I didn't had any issues with the visa or stamps yet. okay uh, thank you for that information uh, now, in general, like uh, if you, you know, let's conclude this session. So if you want to give any advice or any, you know, personal tip to a student who is wishing to apply in that same university and uh, be it, you know, fr- from a journey from being an Indian student to applying there. So any personal piece of advice would be great. So what I say is there are a lot of Indians here. There is no need to worry anything. So you you can make your own friends and there are many communities and everything. So you'll get support. It's not like you, you have no one over here. If you wish to come here, then do try and come here. It might take little effort, but nothing to worry. You'll definitely reach there if you put enough effort. And all you have to do is just concentrate on your SOP and do you really want to do it? Uh, and how much effort you are you are willing to put put in? And in terms of loan and everything, uh, I know many of my friends took loan, education loan, and everything from India. And it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be impossible to get a loan. I say it, it's not. I, I don't say it's very easy, but it shouldn't be impossible. So if you if you think I wish I could have done that, I I. I say turn your wish into you know will like I will do it like I should do it. Just take up the courage and come here. It's altogether a new experience. You will definitely enjoy. You will definitely get a good um, career over here. It's really nice people and the culture and the work culture. Everything is really nice here. Uh, there is uh, I couldn't think of any negativity other than the weather here. <laughs> so you'll definitely enjoy. Just just focus on your um, aim and then just come here yeah thank you so much i guess like the points which i can give in the concluding conclude conclude conclusion is that you know your story is itself an inspiring story because you know many times what happens we all face that whenever we take drop in a in our studies or anything is like it it just builds pressure on us so as you said, you know, you, are, you were from a normal college in India and uh, aiming to get, get into a best abroad university and that too after a gap year. As you said, like your, as you explained your process that because uh, technology is something which changes so fast and Directly, you have to, you yeah. know, uh, cope up with that transition. And even after those drop years, uh, you know, you overcome everything and you set your aim and you still achieve that so i guess that is something which is very uh, inspiring which our students can take on that m- because many of the students might have a lot of time right now they are just maybe in the third year or you know second yeah. year or fourth year of the graduation 
so it is i guess a ray of hope for those students who are also you know taken a drop year or are working in some some uh, corporate and they wish to you know just excel in their career by doing and changing and uh, you know applying for different great universities i guess this will be a go to video for them that yeah we can still do it so that is amazing and that's how i would like to conclude the session it was a very informative and a personally inspiring session definitely thank you so much for your thank time thank you so much ashish and uh, all the best to all the students who are you know willing willing and uh, have goal to study abroad all the very best and then you can do it that's amazing thank you so much